All aboard! This is Pelone and Chubby, episode 70. Back again with the good stuff. Hit me hard with the good stuff. But it's the Vortex. The sky is all feeling blue. And we got to make that bold prediction for the Super Bowl. Pelone breaks out the fine china once again. He dominates the boards, and he's up. Don't talk about the late show. We're ready for Bron Bron to come back. Talk about predictions. That's that Super Bowl talk we talked about, people. And what happens when you can't shut up? This is Pelone and Chubby, episode 70. Doing what we do. Check us out. It's the Pelone and Chubby Show with your hosts, Rick Salas and Guy Murray, talking about comedy and everything that crosses their mind. It's the Pelone and Chubby Show. And we're live. Hello and good evening and welcome to another episode of the Pelone and Chubby Show. I'm Rick Salas. And I'm Guy Murray. And together we are Pelone Pelone and Chubby. Yeah, Yeah, that's okay, awesome. Yeah. And uh, we are solo, two of us, solo. Dose. Just two. the me. And, Him and yeah. I. So and Jay the Holy Roller is out. And Jay the Holy and Roller is out. The blind guy, Mark the blind guy is out. Bounced. So, uh, you know, see what's up. See what's down yeah. in my town. You know, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. We- I'm it's good. Leave it like that. Yeah, just leave it at that. Leave yeah, it at that. that. Leave it like that. Just like that. You're probably wondering out there, hello uh, to all the Facebook Live watching the faithfuls or watching the show. We appreciate y'all. That love you give us each week. Yeah, and I like to mention, like I always do, that the Facebook Live is intended to be a behind-the-scenes look at the Plone Chubby recording of their podcast for Podbean and all the other platforms out there. But we record this show uh, the the chubby guy he uh, edits it, and then he puts his little uh, musics and stuff in there, and then he posts it on I don't care whatever it is iTunes I but our Podbean is our home that's the uh, website uh, uh, that we choose to broadcast our our podcast on and then they uh, disseminate like the Spanish did a long time ago to all the other platforms, all the other platforms. out there. And that's how you can see us on everything. Uh, you can see us on YouTube, but just the uh, no video, just audio. No audio. And then you can you can hear us on, uh, on iTunes, uh, on iTunes, on, on Apple, and on Twitter, on Spotify. Spotify, yes. It, it's amazing. So whatever your flavor is, whoever you care to uh, to uh, spend your money on, whatever, if you do pay for it. However, you get to your yeah. your your iPod, your, your podcast your podcast fix. Yeah. Make sure you got a little Pallone and Chubby in your mix. Yeah, have some Pallone and Chubby in your life. Get it. Uh, so, uh, I, like I say, the Facebook isn't all... Actually, the audio is pretty darn good on it's it. It's really good, though. We, but uh, like it, it is not our... Uh, our Produced Let's piece say optimal our, choice our comp- of... Yeah. Yes. You know, broadcasting. But it's kind of cool because you can see us, which is... We're, we're not that easy on the eye, but we're not terrible either. Yeah. Uh, Fair to Midland. Yeah. Fair so to uh, it's a chance for you to see us, what we do, what we're doing. So, like, when you see us messing with our phone, it's not like we're being rude. No. That's what you do when you're on a podcast. You look at your computer. You look well, at your you phone. Get your update. You know, you find, you pull up stuff. Uh, and so that's the way it works. You just happen to be privy to the behind-the-scenes stuff. What's happening, Mr. Sigmund Valentine? So uh, it, it uh, that's the way stuff rolls, you know? Yeah, that's how it goes. Uphill. We so uh, I am dressed. You're probably wondering why a beanie. What is the significance of a beanie? He's doing his best uh, Belichick in person. Well, uh, no, I would never do such a thing to represent anybody of that shit team, <laughs> New England Patriots. I just started. I just started. Rams, I, was, I, I was just starting the right Rams off the bat. Will absolutely, sorry. win the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Put your savings, your life savings, put it on the Rams to win the Super Bowl. Or. Buy, just got some squares and let Chance play. play I thing. don't like that. You know what? Betting the squares to me 
is almost like uh, 50 50 tickets. No, at it's a- like playing fantasy football. You're really not a fan for any team. You're a fan of the square that you signed on. You're hoping you know? and praying. Because if, if you're in a good one, a $2,000 square will set your day, baby. I understand it would be nice to win. $2, but my, my point square. is, you're not rooting for you're anybody. You're not a fan. You just want to score it. Yeah, you're hold, just, hold, hold that square. Yeah, you're just another one of those guys. Like <laughs> fantasy football. And if your team ain't in the game, then you, 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 the interest is down, so you got to have something. You know, you're, you you're know, not looking for the commercials. Yeah, when you're a fantasy football player or manager, they call them even, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, it doesn't hold true for everybody, but I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, you're not much of a football fan, really. Because true football fans are fans of their team only, or maybe one other team, whatever. But, but they're fans of their. You don't root for the opposition, you know, your most hated rival in, in your division, just because you have a player on their team. That's bullshit. I don't like that. You know, I don't. That's why I don't like that whole fantasy football deal. You know, it, it, and, and honestly, I think you could plug in any sport, and these geeks would love it. They would love it. They don't care what it is. They want to play fantasy something. They're playing fantasy life. They're playing fantasy everything. <laughs> They're living a fantasy. Now, you're being ludicrous. You know what I'm saying? The just, fantasy. Just be you. Do I, you. I mean, I'm just, and, okay, DraftKings, they broke the game up, man. And yeah, what's the other one? Uh, that's legalized gambling. They, so, yeah, DraftKings, whatever. boy, they, they hooked it's it the up. The lottery's the you same can, way. Indian you casinos. Do a, you can do a, a, a mini packet, do a week. And make as much money as the damn players make in their whole their whole season. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a fantasy. That's crazy. Look, fucker. What you should have done is been good at something, <laughs> sign a professional contract for some sport, mm-hmm. dedicated your life to it, and then make the kind of money that they make. But no, you got to live a fantasy life. Act like you're them, like you're, oh, we, we, what the fuck, we? You don't get dressed up on Sunday. <laughs> I need him to do huh? f- five more yards, five more yeah, yards. You don't get yards. dressed up. You don't, it, it, you're not on the team. You can say <laughs> we as much as you want to say we, but you're not on the team. The only we is that little controller yeah, the in the video The only we game. is the we, we between your legs, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> hey, so anyway, getting back to the, the beanie. Okay, let's what's up with I'm, the beanie. I'm, I'm wearing this beanie. You know how people will wear like the yellow bow uh, for the military, yeah, right? Yeah, And some people will will uh, wear like the wristbands for, well, they were duped at first for Armstrong. Oh, right? yes, that, uh, yes. But, that, was, that, was, that was the first band. Yeah, yeah. yeah So, they, anybody, you know, people do all that stuff, right? Wow. Or they, you know, like, oh, Chicago Strong or New York Strong. Anyway, wow. uh, so I am donning the beanie tonight. Okay. Uh, for all those poor souls out there that are in that negative anything weather. Look, I don't think you have a, a comprehension, people. We live in uh, California. Even if you live in Arizona, you do not have a comprehension. You cannot feel what negative anything feels like. Because I can tell you this. You go skiing, like in Big Bear, or you go uh, to Tahoe, Lake Tahoe, or something like that. You go out there, and it's 30-something degrees, and you're like, <laughs> you know, you can't even handle when it drops to 50 or 40 here, right? Right. So it's like, you know, it gets in the low 30s, high 20s, and everybody's freaking out. Well, just imagine negative like 25. Almost, you know, 100 degrees colder than that, you know? <laughs> huh? You got your attention now, or at least 50 degrees. Dude, it, wind chill was negative 50 something degrees. Nah. They say walking from your house. To the car, which your car probably won't start in that temperature anyway, you could get frostbite. Negative 25. No comprendo. Yeah. What is that? Language is that? What, Dude, negative what, about, what? what about negative 50? No. That's how ridiculous it was. It looked like we were in Canada and then or Alaska. With, uh, what is that, wind shear factor? Yeah, well, yeah. The, and right, so well, it's already it negative 25. It was negative 25, and right. then it, it feels and, like, that. Oh. you know, that feels like? They didn't use the right word when they put it on the Weather Channel. Feels <laughs> like, you know, no. they said, oh, it feels like 50. No, it feels no. like it's fucking cold. It's cold. Right, like bone-chilling cold. And you then know? you start talking negative numbers. You're speaking a language I don't understand. I can't I can't relate. But my people in, in Michigan and Wisconsin, they get bit, getting beat up in that vortex. Oh, yeah. And Chicago's it, taking I, it hard. But you know? they do it all the time. Oh, that lake of But effect. not like this. Oh. Dude, they, had, they, had, they were showing a river. A big stuck. river, not a little river, yeah, a big yeah, river. Yeah. No, yeah, I know the frozen. Yes, mm-hmm. I was wondering what happens to the fish that are in there. 
man, man, they, they go down deep, deep, deep. Mm. It's sad. I mean, I, yeah, so, I mean, there's you so, know, so beanie up. So I am wearing uh, this beanie because uh, I look at the screen, the TV screen, and I see the cold and I <laughs> feel the cold. <laughs> And it makes me put on the beanie. Get a beanie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's commemorative. Because I, like I can't imagine. People were out waiting for the bus. I was watching the news, <sighs> covering their faces. We. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's going to no. fall off. No. It's going to crack and fall off. I'm sorry. I, ca- I can't. But they do that. What is going on? I mean, you know what? Maybe the Bible thumpers are, are right about this. Maybe the end times are coming. No. We got extremes of everything. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Huh? No. We got yeah. extreme weather. No, this is, this we have is, extreme tragedies this, happening. This vortex, this extreme, vortex is unusual, but it's their norm for this time of year. Like this, dude. It's extremes on everything. It's crazy. Okay. They did say we were gonna have a wet winter. I'm just saying. We maybe us, maybe we, us a yeah. wet winter. Yes. It's already February, man. I'm right. ready to get my it's summer coming. clothes on. Look, baby. dude, it's coming tomorrow, bro. <laughs> it's gonna rain for three days, like hard, like Chihuahuas three, coming from the sky. Three days straight. Yes. Oh, that's our winter. We're done. No, it's not. I'm telling you, it's gonna get. They they said this is like almost the uh, next El Nino. The only way they can do that and say that is because they're controlling it. Dude, let me ask you this. <laughs> do you, look, look. Ah, this this summer, you know, it didn't get that hot, you know. No, it didn't. Right, and then and then winter time, we're Christmas, and it's seventy five degrees. So what 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 seasons? We don't have seasons anymore. Cold, so, uh, colder. Yeah, it, you know. It, it, well, for us, it's seventy year round. You know, it's crazy, but. Uh, so we don't know what's going on, but I'm just saying, what if there is some sense to this whole thing? What if all this extreme weather, all the extreme catastrophes that are happening around the world as far as, you know, terrorist stuff or even like just natural disasters that are happening across the world. And then this this like takeover of the homos, they talked about that in the Bible, like that people would be start putting each other's butts and stuff, you know, at the end times. Oh, well. I there mean, not is, like that. Of course, I'm paraphrasing it. Well, but no, I'm just yeah, no, 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 the, no. There is that that chaos theory, and that is the the end of times and damnation. But human beings have been around for a long time. Yeah, there was homos in the Bible too. And I remember. Were, so yeah. yeah, and there was the only time there was a, a complete wash. And I don't know how well you know your Bible. The complete wash was when there was a separation in the, in the langu- languages. That was I know the tower I got, of the Tower of Babel and that whole story. Before I forget how well I know it, I know I have one. I just don't know I, where it is. I don't know where it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So I mean, we have to have separation. Uh, current president and his administration and divisiveness. Um, oh, we're pulling together. We're changing. Oh, the race thing is this, and the race thing is that. Right. Those things continue to happen. We're in the same cycle. Some say we've we've gone back to the '60s. Bro, nothing's changed. Nothing's, nothing's changed. changed. People are just verbal about They're it. They're more now. verbal about it, and or not verbal or offended. About it. Uh, 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 and then everybody, yeah. Uh, uh, like today, like today, we uh, uh, I had to say in front of the people Did you? You know, at work. Yeah. To- what, what what is it you do? And I said, well, I do. I do a podcast during the week. And I get to tell people to and go like, fuck oh, themselves. really? What are you talking about? I said, oh, it's just some comedy stuff. And then usually I go off about a topic or two and people kind of like that. But I am going to put out this disclaimer. disclaimer. If you're sensitive, don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. I told the people at work, the if you're views, sensitive at all, do not listen. The views of the commentary on this show does not represent, well, yeah. fuck, it's our show. Yeah. So it does represent it does what represent. we stand for. <laughs> you know, I'll say it and I don't care. And yeah, we will do it. I don't back care. Back it and back it and like back. June always tells me, I tell him something, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how you feel or think. It's past nine. You know, you have no feelings. Go to bed. For, year, for years and years, I've always worried about like how would other people think or how they feel. I don't give a fuck anymore. I really don't. I don't care if your feelings get hurt. I don't care if you're going through some shit, really. You know, because I'm going through my own shit. I got my own shit to deal with. How am I going to worry about my shit and your shit? Huh? Damn it. I can't. No. I can only wipe my ass. Right. I can't do yours too. So deal with it, fuckers. Um, you'll fix it. One way or another, you'll fix it. Some of, yeah, some of the okay, so again, we got these all these leaders who try to in peace times or in major chaos times and they want to bring things back, bring people's <sighs> visions back to the, Yeah, you know, they're just trying to put themselves nah, in the spotlight. No. No. Dude, I didn't never realize changed. what's up. How 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 you could be an affordable drunk. 
<laughs> like, like I'll go, I'll Carnivore go, 2016. Yeah. 10 bucks, right? Get so it. I look, I go out to the bar or something, I spend $100. Uh-huh. Another zero. Uh, you know, you can do one or two of these, $20, and you're done. Bev you know, like same thing with beer, you know. Right. But this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Uh, pretty, you know, it's fine. A $10, $10 bottle of wine, and you just get shitty. That's the way to go. You know, I guess that's why wino came about. Yeah, wino. But, you know what? I, I had a little bit of a brush with reality today. Oh. Actually, yesterday. Oh. Bro, bro. We did, made that uh, terrible, terrible mistake of talking politics in the job. Oh, okay. Which uh, is never usually a good thing, but uh, it was okay. So uh, I got a new boss, and, uh, you know, I'm asking him, you know, where are you from? And he says, because uh, he lo- he looks like and sounds like he's, he speaks Spanish and stuff. He looks like and sounds like he's from Argentina or something. Oh, know? okay, okay. Yeah. But I said, like, so where are you from, bro? He said, Did he uh, say Venezuela? No, he said from TJ. <laughs> and I said, so you're just like one of those standard issue TJ Mexicans, Ouch. right? Ouch. And uh, he said, yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, well, I mean, which is fine. I mean, there's no reason there's to no take any negative out of that. Right. Which is what it is. Anyway, he said, uh, we started talking about. You know, I said, well, he said, well, where are you from? I said, Central America, which like we're the most hated people right now because of these caravans okay. that are coming up. Oh, you're from Central America, you piece of shit. You know? <laughs> right. So for the moment, you know, the black people go back to being the hated ones. Hated, minute, right? Hating on them. But, uh, uh, you know, the, all these caravans. Right. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know what? You know, I'm from Mexico. So I, I have a little more insight of what's really going on. You know, and, and this is a guy that is Mexican, so he probably is adverse to them putting up the wall. So, like most Mexicans are, which is fine. That's how you feel. But he made a point. He said, you know how I know this is kind of bullshit, that somebody, it's somebody else's agenda, right? that somebody else is doing these caravans, is behind it, you know, and to make Trump look bad? You know, he says, no, but this is coming from no, a Mexican no, guy. No, coming from a Mexican. He says, you know how I know this? Because they could go to Texas... And it's 500 miles, 500 miles miles less walking. And they can cross much easier in Texas. Free range. But think about it. And I started to. I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Well, one, that it's somebody else's agenda. Because look at all you people that are left and believe that Trump is a piece of shit and all that stuff. Guess what? You guys are pieces of shit, too, because you're doing the same thing he's doing. Well, you guys are making up shit to make him look bad, like he's not doing his job. And it's not even fucking true. And then at the same time, he is just speaking. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, he, does says, one, he says outlandish you know, stuff and but has does no ground or basis. worse than the other? No. This whole doesn't. fucking caravan thing was all cooked up. Right. So, so, so say George Soros is funding, and they get out there and they'll bust a bunch of people. Down they got and a bunch of them coming up, and they got them coming to California. You know why? Because we are the most bleeding heart. Stand for a cause other than a good cause. Stand for a cause. Uh, anything, mostly pets. Okay. You know, <laughs> instead of fucking homeless people. But this state is the biggest fucking bleeding heart. Oh my, oh my, I can't believe it. We got to do, they're fucking down there feeding them through the fence. Right. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> okay, look, do you think anybody would even give a shit? About. In Texas, do you think unless they cross the border, they would start making noise? They could give a fuck about anybody coming until they, come. they cross the border. Right. Right. So they don't care if you're over there. They don't care if you're all dying. Come on. They could give a shit. They don't care what's going on, right? Over there, they could have crossed easily, but you'd probably get shot by a cowboy. I have a, I, I have a, I mean, I have a thought on that, but it's the, the threat, the threat. Come on, brother. Come on, Trump. You can do it. I'm, we're behind you. I, I feel threatened. Is there really a threat? On the borders? Yeah. Of course there is. What's the threat? Look. What's Look, the I don't care if you want to believe it or I- not. Illegal uh, you got, migration, immigration, the Okay, whole if thing. you're seeking asylum, you got to do it the right way. You got to do it the right way. If you're seeking, I live in a shitty country, not a qualification. I don't believe there's a box on the application that says <laughs> shitty country. 
Right. I got no job. No job. I got no money. I got no food. I put well, family. Fucker, I put my family in the car. When this place started, uh-huh. nobody no, had any no food. Job, they no came food. over in a wagon, and they had to fucking make shit. Mm-hmm. Right. They mm-hmm. did kick out the Indians, fuckers. Yeah. I, yes. They did kick out the Mexicans. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or they put them to work. One or the other two. But the fuckers had foresight. They came over with the horse and, and carriage or whatever the fuck it is. They came over and they put shit in the ground and they grew it. They killed shit. They ate. They didn't uh-huh. die. They created this, this where we live today. Okay. Right. Why can't you do that in your país, fuckers? Why can't you make it happen in your country? Resources? What resources? You got the same fucking dirt we no, do. No, they came over here with nothing and the country goes, well, here till you figure it out. Who? What country? There was no country. Well, we no, no. When 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 we established this joint, when they established the joint, they did it on the backs of slaves, Indians, oh, yeah. and nobody Chinese wrote any rules on how the fuck you how do you it. do it. <laughs> huh? I'm smarter than you. Fucker, so work resources. Huh? Man. Is, that, is, resources. That, is that look? That's we, how we're that, gonna promise you a you know a, a forty acres uh, and a mule. That's Come, how the world came about. Uh, look, the smart dudes fucking figured it out. They got all the loot. Yeah. Were they good people? Nah, yeah, it's debatable. It's debatable. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, but if I if I can con you into working for free and just feeding you and housing you, yeah. who's a smarter motherfucker? Okay, but the, then it's, it's, it's just a con, a perpetuated con. We were leaving, um, looking for spices and developed a new route, and, oh, we found the Indians, but they're not yeah. Indians. Oh, look at this new land. Oh, let's well, just take over. Take, take, take. Well, granted, okay, look it. Here the we go. The plan looks fine. Okay. On paper, I convince you to work. I feed you, clothe you. Okay, fine. I say I own you. I own Whatever. you. <laughs> I just strip you of your here's, resources. Here's where the plan go, goes awry. Yeah, here's is. where the problem is. Oh, I'm not cool with that. That's your line. That's, oh, I'm, I'm not, not cool, cool with that. that. Hold, hold up, wait. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> I'm not cool with that. Well, uh, Chubby, <laughs> unfortunately, you don't have a fucking say in this thing. So you turn and run. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm out. Uh, and then I and then then I uh, either somehow corral you or shoot you in the back <sighs> to make an example to the rest and that then, you ain't going nowhere. Ain't got, oh, <laughs> so oh. that's where the plan goes awry, that's, right? Yeah, that's where it becomes uh, not nice, mm. right? Huh. But uh, the part where if you choose to work for free, that's on you, dog. <laughs> choose on you. to work for free. Yeah, that's on you. So if you got if you went for the okie doke and went ahead and did it, that's on you, dog. <laughs> That is on you. If I told you, hey, we're going to kill you or, or you can leave. That's what they told the Indians. I have no options. So I have no, nothing. I, I, I know for sure. Well, I don't know for sure because I wasn't there. But I'm pretty sure that they were like, all right, fuck it, we'll leave. Right? Right. Where, I, you know, if you're going to fall for the okie doke, then ask it. but if you're like, nah, you know what? Fuck you, man. We ain't going nowhere. All right. Let's, we let's, were here before you. So there's nothing to fight for. <laughs> you you let it get taken. You uh-huh. try to uprise and you get wiped out. Mm-hmm. Let's 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 think of the natural selection in that. They came with the gunpowder. They came with the. Who the, are you talking about? The settlers. The settlers. The, the colonizers. Well, let's, do, let's make it right. <laughs> the colonizers. The colonizers, settlers, and unsettlers. Okay. <laughs> They came and disrupt, but they came in, they took over, overpowered, and they took the land. Yeah. Well, and nothing's perfect. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's perfect. Shit happens. There's collateral damage. Yeah, but then you're like, okay, well, we got these indentured workers. We can we can put them to work and right. give them promises of, of, of equality. And, right. Uh, isn't nah, that what, isn't not, that we, what we do with the minorities in this country right now? We don't want them to be equal. <laughs> we don't want them to have rights. But things have changed. Things, things have, have changed. changed. Nah, nothing ain't changed. Hey, if you go to school, you can get a good job. How many motherfuckers out there with a college degree with no job? How many of you got a college <laughs> degree, but you're working a job that doesn't have anything to do with your degree? Or pay it anywhere close to what you should be getting paid. Or even paying all the loans and the money that they gave you to get into school to get that education. But that counselor at the there. college is like, oh, if you just do this and stay on track, you're going to be a you know, big shot one day. You're going to be somebody. So let's talk about those systems then. All kinds of systems. You can just take advantage of it. Oh, you know what? The government will give you the money so you can go to work, but you got to pay the government back. Yeah. So the system really? sucks. The system sucks, man. Yeah. Bad, you know, and, bad, you, and, you, and 
There's enough shitty stuff that you can probably bitch and moan about everything all night. Like I could probably do this show for by himself seventy two hours straight. Ooh, we should do a marathon show and 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 just point out all the indecency, lies, the lies, the inequities. We <laughs> inequity, inequity. I like that word inequity because yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you could be given the same piece of bread. However, your bread could already be rotting, <laughs> molding, where the next dude's is brand new and he can do something with it. And now we're going to talk about bread, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's an uh, a, a extreme metaphor, but... Uh, Cabaret Sauvignon. So, uh, I'm at this new job. Working it out? Uh, barely. Bring I'll be on honest the bacon. With you. I'll be honest with you. Barely. Fried up in the pan. It's just the, the, the fact that I need to pull my weight a little bit right now. I've been working on these projects, mm-hmm. and the projects haven't paid yet. You know, their dividends. Split. But they're coming, right? Right. So, uh, and then I had another deal that, you know, it was, man, just to keep it uh, uh, very generic and simple without getting into detail, the deal was done. It was done. Set. Like, first of all, you look at the deal and you're like, fuck, there's no way that deal's going to come together. And then it does. And it comes together. And you're shocked that it does. But one component, one element, one part is no good to the whole plan. And it completely breaks down the whole car. The whole deal crumbled. Your hopes and dreams crushed this week on Ellen. Oh, no. Ellen. <laughs> so, so, just crushed. He's a rambling and, man. And, and more money than you could think about. Look, Gone. It, you could throw it on your bed just and just like swim that. in it for days. And you're like, oh, this you, is. You can, you can make money, this angels. This is what they told me about. This is the promised land. I'm coming home, mama. And then it just. And then. <laughs> Because one jackass, oh. the whole deal falls oh. apart. Wow. And you're left holding your pecker. <sighs> How do you feel? <laughs> so I'm forced to get to this job. And I'll tell you this. Look, uh, I'm not going to go into detail what it is and all that stuff. But if you're But if you hear this voice, huh? if you hear this voice, yeah. he's trying to help you. Well, if you hear this voice and you have a lot of credit card debt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not going to tell uh, exactly what it is. No, I'm not going to tell you. If you got a whole lot of credit card debt and you hear this voice, then you might want to take advantage of the situation. situation. But I'm going to tell you this. If you're sitting at home and you got $10,000 in credit card debt. And you're like, you know what? I just don't want to pay the bank back I feel all of like it. like all of it. I can make it to where you pay back half of it in nice, easy monthly installments with no interest. The interest will stop. So uh, if you're in $10,000 debt, credit cards or personal loans that aren't attached to anything, hit me up. You can uh, private message me, and uh, I will make them disappear within two to four years in the legal way. In a very, sort of. very sort of. Legal, l- legal loopholes, loopholes is what, uh, but one5 Five uh, uh, billion dollars enrolled, billion dollars enrolled in the program, with over fifty-five thousand members enrolled in the program. So you know they're doing something right. Got to be doing. Is something there a right. fee? <laughs> what the fuck do you think? There's a fee because uh, anything that works has a fee. Has a fee. Now you don't pay up front, which is nice. No cost to you up front actually you're never even going to notice what we take out of it <laughs> because because uh it's kind of uh you know uh, included in your monthly payment but you can do the math you can do the mexican math and do monthly payment times term how much am i paying back remember fuckers half of it's being excused so uh, i'm not giving any disclosures or anything because i haven't said a name i haven't said what we do i haven't said nothing I'm just telling you to message me if you're in debt with credit cards or personal loans over 10 grand. And I'll make them disappear. <laughs> wow. Lice. There's a bomb that went off there. Beer. So, uh, anything exciting, noteworthy in the life of Chubby, also known as Guy Murray? Uh, man, I. I no. 
Beautiful. Nothing, Let's nothing, move on. Nothing, nothing, nothing <laughs> amazing. You know, it's just. It, 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 hey, sometimes less is more. That's the right answer. That's the best part. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> life is life. It's life continues uh, to happen. And that's, that's right. That's what we signed up for. I've abandoned from uh, the comedy review preview, partially because honestly, my mouth is hurt from talking shit about comics. And it's going to continue to be. But you're so good at it. Right. It's going to continue to be that. So all I'm going to do is buyer beware. Check out a video online. If they don't have a video online, don't go. <laughs> don't go see them. I mean, I mean, I do like the whole thing. Support, support local businesses. They're comedy. They're, Look, they're comedians that aren't getting paid right. for the time anyway. So, so what, where's the support? Who well, you support? Yeah, that and it doesn't say on that disclosure. Support your local artists, but the same artists every week. <laughs> okay, or, or support. Oh, what was it? oh, support local comedy. Right. And you, there is Live none. comedy. Live comedy. The only, the only catch to that is, there is there's got to be... There's got to be some. Live comedy. comedy. Live. And in order for it to be live comedy, it's got to be funny. Yeah. So I'm going to put up a big... When we open up our comedy club... When? In North County. Well, we got to get the fun, fucker. It doesn't just... Hello. You know what? I really want it, so... Hey, wish in one hand, be there. want the other... Right. You smash that together, right? You open a club, so it's gonna happen. Uh, my buddy from up north is back on board, so it's uh, more of a reality than it was a month ago. So, but I am gonna have a sign out front, okay? And it's gonna say for the crybabies. Psych. When you walk in, be advised. Be well adult aware. Adult content. We do not censor. We do not believe in anything being off limits. All we require, we have one rule only, that it's funny. If it's not funny, you are bounced. You're out of the club. Get done. Right? Yep. But that is going to be the only rule of the club. Got to be funny. So don't cry when somebody talks about white people, black people, Mexican people. Asian people, poor people, stupid people, stupid fat people. people, skinny people, Pretty retarded people. people. Retarded people. Right. When they talk about all that, midgets, when they talk about all that, but fucking, when they talk about all that, don't cry. Because the only rule, remember, is that it has to be funny. 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 funny so funny. if it's not funny, you won't hear it. Got it. Ite. It's okay. <laughs> you it's got it? Right. It's all right. Oh my God! I'm emulating Jade, uh, the Holy Roller, right now. Yeah. It's okay, dude. I'm 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 at it's work. It's all right. What you got? And you have to say like you know, there's a lot of phone calls, so you say a lot of hi, hello. Yeah. But I caught myself <laughs> because watching TV this week. Yeah, what'd you do? I caught myself. Hi. Hi. You know the commercial for yes, the, uh, Metro or no, or not Metro, I, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, the other one. Yes, but I know what you're you talking about. Hi. What is it? Hi. Yeah, that's horrible. You know, which is way better commercial than Metro because I remember the other one, yeah, but sucks. I can't remember the name. That's that's the worst part about any advertisement. So I'll pick up the phone. I'll go to hit the the button. I'll be like, and I stop myself because I hear it coming. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye. I'm like, oh my god, Whoa. that is so gay, but it's so catchy. So me and June walk around the house. Uh-huh. It drives Kathy nuts. Bye. Hi. He says hi. Uh-huh. Right. But before that, it was like, ah, yeah. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> he does that. Yes. So walking around, that, what's up? Your five year old kid, Dad. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Um, it's funny how that's so catchy, you know. Yeah, it's, it's it is, it, and it was it was because it was annoying. Hi. Like, what's the what's the, the the baby cloud or what is it? The thing that's king. What's the the baby cloud? What's what's the thing right now the, for the kids? Oh, uh, baby shark. Ah, yeah, that came on hard. Hit yeah. people hard, man. That's like cocaine or crack for kids, man. man. They and go nuts with you that. You ain't even gotta say it. I mean. You ain't got to sing the song Mommy now. You just say the shark. name. <laughs> Stop, I'm going to punch you. I don't even, I have never seen it, but everybody oh talks about gosh. it, and it gets under your... What is it? How is that possible? The new one I'm just I'm just learning about is this, uh, this like, computer-sounding voice, like you heard earlier. Yeah. 
you know, yeah, Caillou, yeah. Uh-huh. you know, uh, and then uh, uh, what's the other little girl's name that they, 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 they torment? Uh, anyway, my daughter walks around and she's autistic and, and she like can't put a whole sentence together, but she can memorize every that fucking word of this video, which drives oh. me nuts because it says, how dare you? And then the daughter's name or whatever, I, I would say it's, uh, uh, Car, uh, Carla, whatever. Mm-hmm. How dare you? How could you blow up Chuck E. Cheese? And then she'll say, I want to play hooky from school and go to Chuck E. Cheese. And it sounds like a computer thing, right? I want to and go. You, and and uh, uh, I, I'm going to blow up Chuck E. Cheese. I'm going to set the Christmas tree on fire. It's stuff like that. Right. And then just like, and then he says, you are grounded for 1,000 years. Go to your room. 1,000. 1,000, 1, 1, Like, you're like, what in the fuck? It's like that com- when computers Computerized, talk to yeah, other, yeah. Right, this thing talks like that. And so then the kids are walking around and they're like, you know, uh, you are so grounded. That's assimilation. They're trying to get to us through the kids. Yeah. I mean, they used to feed us little things through our TV shows um, with imagery. So when they do their planned plots like 9-11 or whatever, they've been giving you and they've been feeding it to you for a long time. And then when it happens, you're desensitized. And you're like. Dude, it's the weirdest shit ever, man. It's like it's Fortnite. cultish or say, Yeah, say, Fortnite. Fortnite, same thing. He walks around. And he puts that loser sign on his forehead. And he starts bopping and, and jumping up and dancing. down. Like, what? Like, dude, he's never, five years old. You've never even played the video game, but you've yeah. watched the little but videos, he knows the, the whole songs, Fortnite and dance the dance. And that. And, yeah, it's like they're, they're like hypnotizing our kids, man. And they're getting us through the electronics. And they're you getting know? us through that. Yeah. But those are your babysitters. That's what you're, 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 shut up for a second. And you stick a iPad in front of their face or you give them the phone or you give up your computer you can't get anything done productively yourself but you just to get them kids off of your back you stuff that stuff in front of them yeah but and you know we we, we uh you're trying to curb it but well, that's your that's your babysitter man yeah well, well here's the other thing even though like say you are actually a good parent and you don't have your phone or a laptop or a tablet babysitting your kid Kid blows up on which you, i mean man. think about it man Think about it. If you were a kid and your fucking mom and dad never talked to you, you'd probably come come out all spun out too. So <laughs> no, uh, yeah. no. So so I like a, they told you just go outside and play, but you were doing like normal kid shit. You're out playing in the mud, know? making little cakes. Right, you're getting hurt. You know, you're eating bugs. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you're trying to dry hump the neighbors. You know, the neighbor chick. You know, right at seven, eight years old, right. getting a little semi wood. I mean, those are good times. That's Great like, times. That's what you're supposed to do. You you're know? made of good stuff. You can actually socialize and talk to people and everything right. instead of these kids that are facing. Even sticking. the bad shit that you do is still good. Okay, you, it's still but good. But now we got, we got emo kids and yeah. people that are so disconnected. Well, look at You we're took not, to them the wrong way and they're stressed out yeah. and they are depressed. All and, the negativity. Oh, yeah. uh, what? Did you hear that? Did you hear that video? Oh, my God. The chick on the plane? No. Look at Look, look. You already got a bad rep in the theaters. <laughs> you got a bad rep at restaurants of sending shit back. Yep. Right? Now you got a bad rep on the planes. Nobody wants your no ass on the plane. And then you're talking about fat ass. Well, I could hear the fat in her voice. I didn't see the video, but I know that bitch ain't skinny. Just because you consider yourself thick, other people might call that fat. Fitty, right? fitty. So she's talking fat. about all these fat motherfuckers on the plane and stuff. And she's making all this noise. And I've never been. i never been. I, you know what, bitch? Because nobody's ever said anything Disruptive. to you because they feel like you're going to fucking stab them. Disruptive. You know, or you're going to punch them or something, do some weird shit, right? So, you know, I know I need, I need that, man. You know what? When you become a little too much trouble, get the fuck off the plane. That's what they did to you. They launched your ass off the plane. Booted. Huh? Yep. How you like them apples? <laughs> now, you're, now you're sitting in the airport. Why? Because you fucking had to talk too much, you know? Just talk too much. Just fucking stay in your lane, man. Like, 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 he's a talker, but at least he has some good advice. <laughs> at least just stay in your lane. And know your role. Know your you role. Know? Don't, you know, oh, my role is to be, you know, a black woman and not talk. No, fucker. Just don't talk so much. Zip it. And then make sure that the words that come out of your mouth are meaningful. That it's not just to bitch and moan and show how persecuted you've been your whole life. Come on, man. Mm-mm. Come on. 
You know, make it, make it. Look, when you cry wolf so many times, no, nobody pays attention anymore, you know. But when it's real and you feel it and then you choose to say something, then it means something. People are going to pay attention. They're going to listen. Listen. You know, I know that we got to overcome a lot of shit. You know what? And, and black people, you're not the only one. Far, Mexicans far from too. It. Far from it. Asian people, they got a, a, a stuff that they got to they got to clean up in their own backyard too. You know, they always want to talk shit about everybody doing something to them. Fuckers, start keeping some of that money here and stop sending it home. Stop, start putting it in the bank like everybody else does. That's a good point. You got, you, know? you got a point there. Stop uh, doing all that little shit you are to manipulate the system and be part of the system. You know? Right. Look, everybody says the system's fucked up. You know why? Because everybody only wants to take the good shit out of it. You know? If we all applied and did what we're supposed to do the right, right way, the right way, the system would work. It's designed to work. That's valid. It's like driving a car without one wheel on it or two wheels on it. The fuck ain't gonna move. And if it does move, it ain't moving properly. It's sparking, baby. So it's sparking. If everybody did their bestest and was honest and tried and went to work every day and did all the stuff that we're capable of doing. Instead of trying to shortcut and take advantage of everything and cheat everybody, the world would be a happy place. Look, fuckers, if you're not willing to put in the time and do it right and fix it, then don't bitch how it is. Nope. Don't complain how it is. Don't say what you want when you're not putting in. Like that, that motherfucker that, like, hey, you want some lunch? You want to, we're all chipping a little money for lunch. Nah. Nah. And then the food comes, and because they feel bad, Maybe they feel like you don't have any money or whatever. They're like, hey, you know what? We got enough cash. You know? Come on, eat something. The motherfucker sits down, takes more than everybody else. Huh? <laughs> Always happens. Takes out. more than everybody else, the, right? The guy that's getting the free and then, the handout. And then, who puts mushrooms on their pizza? Starts complaining, complaining about what Complaining about getting. what you ordered while they're steady eating it. Oh, And out yeah. eating everybody. Gee. And didn't put in a dime. Look, motherfucker, if you didn't put in any money, you better shut the fuck up. If you didn't do anything to fix this mess that we're in right now, shut the fuck up. Do your part first. Be part of the solution. And then say something. Then say something. Don't just bitch and moan all the time. After a while, people aren't even going to listen. That's what happened. That's what ha- happened. What All ha- these happened people took was. to the street and they're marching up and down. And I don't give a fuck what your cause is. You know, equal freedom to penetrate whoever I want. Okay, whatever. You know, uh, you know, uh, treat me like a person because I'm my skin is different than the majority of people. Right. Or whatever. 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 So you know, you know, whatever. My 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 mom and dad abused me when I was little. Whatever. Okay, fine. You know, I feel for you on all that shit. But get over it. Make something happen. You know, you can do the same thing. Unless you're physically incapable, then we got to take care of all those fuckers. You know, all the ones that are broke down and and uh, and not not voluntarily broke down, but they were just born a little fucking chueco. You know, <laughs> they're just you know all the shit ain't working right. Right, you know? right, right, right. Yeah, there's gonna be like when you have when you have a, a conveyor belt. And you're producing stuff, mm-hmm. you're bound to have a couple that come out fucked up. Yeah, you know? I get, I get, and I'm not saying they're bad, you know, I'm just saying they're fucked up. They're, they're obviously up. to the eye, they're fucked up. You can see that they're they're not they're not gonna get the same dollar when mm. you go to sell them. Mm. So, you know, God has that conveyor belt and he's out there pumping out the he, the he's and the she's. And uh he's bound to, you know, you know. I don't get out in public very much, but when I do, um, I like to I play choose this, to be medicated. I, I I play this game of can I get inside your circle, and it's as easy as me either singing. Oh, that sounds deep. Oh uh, man, I, I I'm serious. It's, a, it's it's as as easy as me um, singing, uh-huh. trying to mel- like make up a song or something, and it should be be harmonizing and. And seeing if I can get you to sing along with me, or I've had you, I've had that same desire since I was a young boy, and I could get wood. <laughs> just getting in, get in their your circle. circle. <laughs> God, that's been a, that's been a lifetime lifelong goal dream. of mine. Yes, yes. Hashtag goals, baby. Yes. 
Um, so get in, yeah, get I, in your circle. On my way over this evening, um, I had to go and go to the grocery store, and so uh, my usual duty is just you know push the cart, right. pack the bag, so we can get out of there. You know, do we need this? Do we need that? We're grabbing stuff. Do we need this? Do we need that? I was like, ah, oh wait, but I'm cooking this Friday, so I need this. I need I need this. I need that. Um, so I was in front of the cart, pulling the cart, and I was like, yeah, mule, yeah, come on now. And this guy just like stopped trying to visualize. Was he a former cowboy that was offended? <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> I don't know. I guess it was just something that caught him off guard or something. Right. And I caught a look at it. He just like hung his head for a second and just like trying to process. Did I just, yeah, mule, yeah. See, now you you had the vision of pulling the cart like, like, a, like a bureau, like, like come a, on, a stubborn know, old mule. And right. come on. Now. Yeah, what he heard if he was a white guy. Ooh. Most likely it was Ooh. you shackled up to something, ha. and then the the master said, uh, oh, "Sha, oh, yeah, sha, yeah. give you them lashings." <laughs> so I mean, it's just all a visual, whatever a visual, visual you get. So, I mean, like you can hear some moaning and groaning. He was processing it for right. a little bit, and I just like because <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what people are thinking. You don't know what people are thinking. What's up, Lisa Medina, Joshua Goddard? Uh, Cynthia Hernandez, one of the so, most faithful ever. Yes. Sigmund Valentine um, and Michael Devindu. What's hey, up, man? what's happening, people? You know, I, I do. I, I do things regularly. And uh, now my new thing, I mean, because people are watching Netflix. They're watching, you know, this, this Ted Bundy thing and all this stuff like that. I just like looking at people like I'm special and not uh, blink or not turn my head. Just just look. But, okay, talking about those shows, who watches shows about serial killers? A lot of people. Why? A lot of people watch Why? them Why? because Why? they're fascinated by how Why? someone could be so twixed. Why would you even somebody want... Somebody is okay, so troubled. The first time you hear it on the news, you're like, what the fuck? They want to feel better about themselves. Maybe. They, that's why that's why shows like uh, my so, six hundred pound life. Oh my that's god, why I can't I'm watch a, that. Uh, uh, hoarders and all that. No, other I can't stuff watch like that. that. Yeah, because you want to feel better about yourself, dude. The and they they produce those shows with the music and the the whole thing. And Mary could have done this three years ago if she would have stopped bringing stuff home. And they just play to your well, feelings no so you can feel better about yourself because when you could switch channels and go back to your life and everything yeah. for a brief second, you did care. But they Dude. watch those shows, and yeah, no, I mean, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to kill? Was it how to build a murderer and how to? And then even the even even those CSI shows and all that stuff. What's the fascination? I don't understand. Why do you then like? We're trying to figure it out. We're Especially trying to the figure sexual it out. one, right? You know that one. Oh, with those that... are horrible. Yeah, the Why? sexual. Why? Listen. Because we're all sick. We've been. We know somebody that was affected that way. We want to feel better Is about it... ourselves. 30 minutes or a 90 minute series show will get you that escape. Oh, I what? almost yeah, but, and I almost figured out what how how he did it. I almost figured out how he did it. Oh, wait, they tricked me. Why do you care? Why do you want to replay the thing in your head, really? It, it's, it, a, it's almost like that guy's like how gross and he's looking and like looking through his hair. I can't look. I, I can't, can't look. look yeah. He's like he's watching yeah, yeah, the whole time. Um I I like the first 48. That is the most realist, gripping, but you can just see the case slipping away from the detectives. And these guys, it's their job. They got to piece this thing together to get all the information. I, I just, I don't get it, man. It you know, I, when I saw it the first time on the news, I was like, hey, yeah. uh, that's fucking yeah, heinous. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Why would I want to watch it replayed for a whole hour? Watch the detectives and more going information behind the scene. and more detail and more pictures. <laughs> what kind of fucking asshole am I that I thrive, I enjoy, I get off on watching this? Somebody chopped up like cube steak. What do I, why? Dom are eating the people. Why? <laughs> what do you want? What do you really want more information? Like, you know what? God, I'm so disappointed. I, I just watched this, I, I just this spent, story on the news. Yeah. I just wish they had more pictures and more information about it. Because you know it's going to come up later and you're going to watch no, it on the show later. Like, give no, me more. Like, that's that's the equivalent. Give me more. Like, like the only thing, I, the, I'm so mad. Why, why didn't they show more pictures of them chopped up? You know why didn't they? Why didn't they go into more detail on how it happened? Huh? Recently, oh, I don't want to know. Hey, the, the the little airplane that crashed on the mountain right off seventy six here. Uh huh. The guys, the guy was up there, and the, the pilot died for because nobody looked up there. Huh. No, no. I mean, people busy. Zoom, 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 so zoom. They all, saw all the plane, they're like, eh, plane yeah, crash. plane crash. <laughs> it was a small plane, but seriously. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I'd probably do the same thing. The, the, the passenger, he survived. He goes, yeah, we were up here, man. And, and if anyone looked up here, they would have seen us. I mean, oh, yeah. You know? Somebody had to have seen it. 
when it happened, huh? heard it, something. It's in the middle of nowhere? Right off the of 76 is right visible from the freaking, just, just So nobody up. was like, eh. looking in that direction and see the shit fall out of the sky and was like, too bad for them. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck. Yeah. I just don't have time to pick up my phone and call somebody for you. So when you hear stories like that, when you hear stories okay. like that, you're just like, I was like, wow, are we, are we that involved with ourselves? Are we're we that, that important. Or is that, that important? important. Well, we yeah. are. We yeah. are. Like, you know, when we used to go do bar shows and stuff and you're up on stage. Well, if I was there, no matter how shitty the comic is, I'm going to at least listen. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Or like if there's a band playing, I'm at least going to watch. But yeah, you, you but look to at turn your fucking, back and turn your back and, and have a talking. full blown conversation yes. at the top of your voice. What kind of yes. special asshole are you? I, what, what, you where you, were you, you fucking born? You paid to be there. <laughs> You're that important. Well, even if they didn't, if it's a free even, show, even if they didn't pay. But, but yeah. how 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 important are you that you can't just give fifteen to twenty minutes of your life undivided attention so that this person doesn't feel like a complete Get their shit asshole out of right. that is trying to entertain you? Oh my god, is that really that hard? Is it that fucking tough? <sighs> You know, well, it's not my thing. I don't care if it's your thing or not. Turn the fuck around and watch. <laughs> you know? Huh? Bar shows, be a decent bar person. Shows and bar shows and bar shows are oh funny. Oh, my God. What, what, just be nice. I, I, I mean, I've seen bar shows, and they, the guys are set up. The speakers are, what's going on? Comedy show. Oh, well, let's get yeah. the fuck out of here. <laughs> Comedy? Oh, shit, no. Well, what if, what if, on Tuesday? What, what if it's something here. that you're into? You know? If it's something like, you're into? You, yeah, you're hey, into Dungeons and Dragons. Fucking dork. It's Get usually the trivia dork. questions up. Or Get you, this stuff up together. Or Get the super th- cools. Like, oh, I want to uh, talk about me. Don't talk like about Like the me. little surfy dudes right. and shit, right? Right. They got their little chick there, whatever, <laughs> right? Yeah, they want to talk. Right? Yeah, give them but what a if you wanted to? What if you wanted to get up and talk about something or go surf? And everybody was like, nah, fuck off. That's lame. That's the same thing you're doing. That's exactly what you just That's did. what you're doing. Right. Whatever it is that you're into... You know, isn't the most important thing out there. But everybody has their own shit that they're into. Give a, give them a minute. Just let them you have know? their second. Here what now. if? What if? What if? On accident, just by chance, you actually enjoyed it. You get something out of it. Like you know, what if? Think of your favorite food. What's your favorite food? I I eat everything. My favorite I, food, though, whatever, I, just make I, up one. Chicken. chicken. <laughs> what if? Chicken, you would have never good. tried chicken. What if I ever. never tried chicken? That would be tough. Think man. about what's missing from your life. Mm. Okay, so let's say couscous. I mean, I matzo I balls. And I've stuff heard like I've heard couscous referred to in many different ways. <laughs> <laughs> As a matzo ball, I want right. to. I've never tried that, but you know, I'm not. But trying, what if, I'm not what, eager what, to go what, get? What, yeah. here, what if you try it? And it now becomes your most favorite food the, of all uh, time. Most amazing thing. I will bend over backwards to get it. So maybe stand-up comedy is not your not thing. Not your bag. But you sit there and listen, and a couple things grab you, and you actually smile and laugh. You fucking douchebag. What if you do? What happened? What if? What happened in that brief moment? What, what if? if? Yes. Oh, a little, little joy and pleasure in your life? Is that your kryptonite? And I made you, <laughs> I made you forget about your problems for a brief second, yeah. and now... You want to fucking follow me? Hey, what the fuck did I yeah. just unlock? Did I what? just unlock something? And then you're now your new favorite thing is comedy. I, I gotta go to or comedy. music. I'll you're go. watching a band and you hear a song and you start a little mm, like cool. inadvertently bouncing to it. You're like, wow, that's actually that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I don't want to see any, let anybody see me singing or anything, but right, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Um, I, get over yourself, get over fuckers. Yourself. That's the that's the message of that little. That's that, that's right the hot chick rule too. If you think you're that hot, you're not, not as hot as you think you are. Or you're not as skinny as you think you are. And then get over it. The not is, everybody wants to fuck you. What is big Get bone? over it. Not everybody's looking at you. Not everybody. Or maybe you it have some be, shit on your shirt or something. Might be two something. desperate Joes over there, yeah. Or maybe they but, thought they heard you fart, and that's why they're looking. Mm-hmm. Don't just think that people are staring at you just because you think you're hot. Uh, oh, get over yourself. Oh, me? Get over you're yourself. You're talking to me? Yeah. No, the chick yeah. behind you. Move yeah. the fuck out of the way, fatty. The fat, ugly one there. That's Ooh. what I want. Yeah, give me that hot stuff. <laughs> give me the one that's sucking on. on her fingers in the chicken wings. Get over yourself. Wings. You're not that fucking hot. The one that's grunting when she's sucking on a, on a chicken wing. That's the girl I want You're right not there. that hot. I want that one right there. And it's not hating on hot chicks. Don't get don't We're get talking like about that. people that have an ego. The ones and, that have uh, the attitude with the goods. With the goods. And you can so, have the goods and still be a fucking normal human being. Bing, ding, ding, ding. That's okay. That's ding, acceptable. Ding, ding, ding. You know, move it right just along. Be fucking normal. Yeah, don't just be, be such a fucking weirdo. Oh, so don't detach, but engage. Don't be. I'm better than that, or I, I mean, what? Pre- pretty people can't have conversations. Yeah, 
not right now. Not, not during my comedy show. Just because you have a conversation doesn't mean you're gonna fuck. Yay! You know, <laughs> I don't even know if I like you. When you get to a point where you like, I know what you like with your wife or something like that. Mm-hmm. Do you still have to like prove to her you're the man? You the man. Well, you, well, I think you have a responsibility to uh, be the man to like you know please her as much as you possibly can. Like if you just go in there and just bang it out and get your shit done, and you're like get the fuck off me and then walk out. Well, I <laughs> that's mean, not cool. If she waited for it, that's not cool. You, you made her wait for it. That's play that cool. game. No, it's not cool. I know. So you, got you need to go in there. Like you want your be shit taken care of. You want you know to get your you know release and. You know, go through the whole fucking bag of tricks. They want you to do the same thing. <laughs> you want you to, yeah, to do the yeah. same thing, you know? So like, you have a you have a uh, moral responsibility. Gentlemen, be the you man. You know, to go in there and bang it out. Be the man. Go in there and handle your business. But be bang it out the way that they like it, not the way you like it. Yeah, don't, and don't leave them in the wet spot. Yeah, like some of them don't like the hair pulling and the spanking and all that shit, you not know? Not all the time. No, nah, you know. And then, you know, you got to change up speeds. You got to have a triple, you got like three or four speeds, you know, and really work it out. <laughs> work it out. Because work they'll, it they'll out. be like, they're like, you, you did something different. Right. What, what was that? She followed, oh, oh, oh. I know the girlfriend liked it, so I figured I'd try I it. I tried you. <laughs> you. Well, you remember that time mm-hmm. we did that? No, no we no, never did that. We didn't do that. That wasn't Shit. me. Damn it. I okay, just, Paul. I just, I just shaggied myself. Okay, wasn't me. Paul. Wasn't me. <laughs> Honey, my name's not Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you know that by now. Oh, I was going to say Pelon. I'm sorry, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pelon and Chubby. Every Wednesday, a little later now because they don't let me out of the cage until late now. So I know for some of you, how is that tri- time, how's, how's that drive? Way better now. Okay. I was getting off at five before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Terrible, horrendous. I was having road rage. Thirty minutes uh, different with uh, seriously bro, or an hour, but I was yeah, getting chest pains and shit like. I thought I was going to, you know, have to go to the hospital. I think you need one of those little monitors, man. Uh, Get the little- <laughs> so now it's an hour and a half later. Hey. Dude. Hey. Uh, allegedly 80 the whole way home, you know? We need to get you a little GoPro or something like that and put you in some traffic. And just hit record and see what the flip fly. I'll tell you what. You know what? Like like that old joke I used to do, anybody that just got a blowjob is never upset. Or they're on the way to get a blowjob. Well, yeah. Their most focused thing right. in them in I'm the saying, on the freeway. Any, anybody that's just got a blowjob, is, you always see them smiling. <laughs> you never see them upset. Yeah. So I, what uh, we need to develop, or there may already be, I need just to be turned on to it, where I can just put that little, uh, the little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Uh, simulator. A pocket, yeah. Simulator over like that. So the whole way home. No, that, that can uh, have some serious repercussions. There uh, are yeah. consequences. Oh, there are some consequences. Yeah, is that illegal? <laughs> <laughs> so if I could just like strap that thing on, yeah, I'd you, be smiling you, the whole way home. I know. I mean, if it, if it's got if yeah. it's got a sensor or a smart an AI that would give you enough to get you to keep you focused, but not take your attention or, off or, of what you because you I don't know, like you'll become I start a liability. Pissed off, There's a suck- <laughs> and it kicks in for a couple of seconds. You're like, okay, okay. okay. Now. Yeah, no, you might be something there. We uh, we don't have to develop. I'm sure right. it exists. It we, probably does. There's was, a lot of sickos. Oh, there. it was that guy on Shark Tank that got bounced, but yeah, yeah. and then later said, I so, fuck it, I'll get it made in China. Have Wrong. you heard? Have you heard? heard? There's been talk about this whole Alexa thing and the Google thing and all that. In the house recording everything. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's why. I, I mean, I, I don't even and the say. the email was sent to the boss, the whole conversation. Oh, that, yes. Remember, oh, you heard yes, that? Yes, yeah, yes, Yeah, so guess what, folks? You're putting this thing in your hot look at how stupid are we? I, First of all, we got this. I, I love the fact you don't even have to like put a a GPS secretly on somebody's car. You don't have to put a bug in their house anymore. We willingly <laughs> carry the tracker and the bug on our body 24/7. How stupid are we? Are we are we that fucking retarded? That we allow that to happen? No, Rick, we don't like you using the word retarded. It's not nice. Yeah, and then, and then, not that this is enough, but let's say the reception isn't so good in a part of your house on your cell phone. You go crazy. I got a better idea. Let me install. 
Alexa. <laughs> hey Google. Hey Google. Um, Siri. Uh, oh shit! Mine you did it. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you see oh, how easy that is? Yeah. So let's just say I'm joking about it, and I'm like, uh, it's listening. Don't do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexa, I don't have Alexa, so. Uh, yeah, look, it's asking me what to do. Who's Alexa? You know, I'm just joking. I say Alexa. <laughs> Jealous uh, Can bitch. you, uh, uh, whatever. And then Alexa turns on. And then I forget that it's on and I start having another conversation. And then I say, oh, I need to call Ron. Next thing you know, fucking Alexa's calling Ron. And, yeah. and then it's on. And then he's hearing everything. And then we start you know, bing, 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 in the room, and he's hearing the whole thing, and then he posts it everywhere. Next thing you know, it's viral. <laughs> Why? Because yes. we're stupid. Because we're stupid. You now, know, I, a lot of you have a conversation sp- about somebody you know, and then they, they end up get, to hear it. get sent to them the whole fucking recording. Yeah. Now, you shouldn't be talking about behind people's back, but it happens. It happens. It happens, and some of it they don't need to hear. It's hurtful. Um, <laughs> no, but you know, I. <sighs> What are I, we doing? Are we but, stupid? I mean, it's 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 quite All beneficial for convenience. For convenience, and it is, it's helpful. I could be have my hands full, and I was like, ah, oh, Alexa, play, play my favorite tune right now. I need that break, but or you know, video. or video. Yeah, well, now video because that means I got now engage with that. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't Alexa, know you, you know what it is. Hey, that, that, Alexa, jot this down. You that know, one. Or, Remember the other night? <laughs> Alexa, jot this down, and then um, you take a note. Alexa, how's the weather? Those thankful things are beneficial, and they help you get through the day. I can, I, I'm a personal assistant on that matter. When these things are just listening to you and start transcribing stuff, and no, I, I, I want to have, I want to get, I, I want to get a smart, I want to get a smart refrigerator just so I can find out how broke I really am. Right. I'm hungry. Is there any food in your refrigerator? No, guy. You haven't shopped for groceries in seven weeks. You're still paying for me, you fat asshole. You know, you yeah. know the truth. Hey, but and these so things will tell you the truth. Here's my worry. What's your worry? Because Alexa can pretty much pull off anything. So my worry is that we... Is there a phone ring? Not here. My, my worry is that we give Alexa all this access, right? And then it, it, she's secretly recording... Or somebody's having her secretly record. Someone's monitoring. And then she turns on the camera on your computer, mm-hmm. your camera on your TV, and everybody is watching everything and hearing everything. Truman Show. Not that I'm doing anything that I don't want seen. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it's... And we enable the whole thing. Nobody even has to break in your house when you're not home to set up all the shit. We set it up for them. <laughs> Come on down, check it Come out. On out. Hey, if you if you like don't like the way you look naked, I'm sure everybody else doesn't either. So don't let something somebody record it and you not know. Be responsible. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do the right thing. Wow. Uh, hey, so do we gonna we're gonna go with the bold prediction you said? Ray M's all the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it one time. One Super Bowl time. prediction? Do you want to score in the whole thing? Oh, well, forget what Vegas has on the over and under. What, right. What's well, plus for three. one, I think there's going to be a lot of points scored. It's indoor. Golf is going to go off? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, and then Gurley, Golf is going to go off. Gurley's going to show up. So, if, so if, if, they shut down, shut, if they shut down Gurley, the only real threat. Nobody's been able to so far. He played against the number one defense in the league, and he still did good. The only here, I'll tell you what, the only person that shuts down Gurley is Gurley. Gurley shuts down, and he's he has priors, right? But they got the other dude now, yeah, CJ, and uh, I don't know if the other guy's going to make it back or not. But they got, they got plenty of shit, and they got wide receivers, good wide receivers. If Goff is on, which he's had a couple. of Occasions that have been less than favorable, but let's just assume he shows I'm, I'm up. I'm going to say the inexperienced squad will prevail. I believe so, and here's why. That inexperience. Brady has come through in the postseason. I'll grant, give him that. And then everything but, else was given to him. So. But dude has uh, been a little suspect in some games. Mm-hmm. So both Goff and him have their suspect moments. You know, so it, it is very possible. But the Rams, I believe, 
other than uh, Gronkowski, I think, and Edelman too, but then you can counter him with somebody on the Rams. If, so, if, if, if Belichick goes out and Brady runs 80% from shotgun, it's, 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 it's done. They're going to try and throw the ball. Yeah. You know, Brady is because the Rams have been accused of having a soft secondary. But I believe they're going to show up and they're going to play decent. And I think it's because of that, that inexperience. So, it's going to snap. Do you? And do that's you, going to be. Do you want the you heard it here first? I'll take it. All right. Let's do it. You heard it here, folks. On Pelona Joe. I believe the Rams are going to do what they normally do and score in the 30s. I'm going to give the Rams 35. And I'm going to say that uh, that the, uh, I wanted to say 42, but that's getting a little bold. So I'm going to go ahead and say 35. Rams, 35. I'm, I'm, I'm actually even predicting a pick six. All right, now. 42, 35. Here's the surprising one. 42, 35, that's the score. Here's the surprise. Okay. One. I'm going with 21 for the Patriots. That there's going to be that big of a margin, 14 points. I, I don't see that, but yeah, again, yeah. I, I am, I'm, I'm already calling my pick six. Hard to believe. In the first half. But I'm going 35-21 Rams. Oh, okay. You heard it here first. Okay. And I expect some fucking kudos if it happens, man. <laughs> I expect all you guys. No, t- to, no Tony type Romo type in, of bull no, stuff. Yeah. No freak me out. No. Ooh, did Rick know something that no. we didn't know? I, I, no. That's a good call, man. 35-21. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's doable. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, definitely I'm, calling a pick six in the first half. Wood. Rams get a pick six in the first half. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do, you know. Kathy may or may not be off. I don't know. But. Do I try and go out in public? It's such a weird thing, because, I mean, you have an outfit. You can go out and all be proud and everything. Then you get... But do I want to deal with that? <laughs> because there's going to be... Because of these you know, assholes out there, the people jumping on the Patriots bandwagon, <sighs> all these people that were never Patriots fans ever, 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 are all going to be jumping on the bandwagon like, oh, I was always a Patriots fan. I was always a Patriots fan. So I, I just don't know if I want to deal with fucking humanity. That day, if I want to just stay at home, maybe barbecue a little bit. I mean, my thing you know? is, I, I, I always, I want to, I want to rep my conference. Yeah. But it, when it's always the Patriots, I, I just get tired. I'm so done with that. Right. You know, it, it, kill it, destroy it, break them down, Philadelphia that ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, NFC. Come on, Rams. Shut that shit down. But you always you always want somebody to celebrate with. I know. But and my kids are a little too young to celebrate, even though I'll be yelling, and then June will be like, yeah, go Rams. You right. know? But and he doesn't really it's, mean it's it. It's superficial. He's just, he's just being a parrot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and, you know, a lot of things. I mean, here it is, already February. We're always talking Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, is is it going by too fast? Is it, What's that? Is, I mean, Life? Everything. Is everything going too fast? Here what, it is what are we talking about? Yeah. Hey, I'm saying, is, is, I mean, here sometimes, we are. It's like, wait, hey, where'd January go? Sometimes uh, sometimes I don't think it's going by fast enough. Uh, where'd January go? It's it's amazing. So so much happened that we can't even talk about anything. Who's that? I don't have my glasses mm, on. Nobody I know. Mikey. Mickey, Mickey Isabella. He's probably from one of the uh, other subs. Oh. So thank you, Mickey, for coming out, checking us out. So it's one of those things where I do want somebody to cheer with or if if New England happens to score and I want somebody to, like, vent to. Right. You know? Yeah. My- somebody that cares. Like, Kathy will act like, she's, like she cares. And let, 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 <laughs> she do not really give a fuck. She just goes back to playing her little game on her phone. <laughs> you know? She don't care. <laughs> I mean, you know, she tries. She tries. Like, she'll cook the shit out of the food that day. For the um, Super Bowl, and all that, you know, I, which I appreciate. She, she make a spread. Well, if she's working, then you're you're gonna be sans spread. Yeah, so or, I mean, you can make your own spread. Right. You don't need which, her to make your own spread. I mean, I could make an expensive day and get the babysitter and all that. Oh, I don't really, uh, you know. And then I feel obligated to go to work. Oh man, like, you know, even more so. So, like, do uh, I have to work if I don't spend any money? <laughs> <laughs> this constitutes hmm. a vacation. Wait a minute, I've been on vacation. Right. Fuck it. Vacation, another vacation day. So I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm fighting it. 
like my fear of human beings in public I, outweighs I, I my desire plan, to cheer with somebody. I usually don't plan for it. Right. I wasn't excited for one. I don't think the last... My team's in the game. Yeah, your team is in. So, I mean, I got to be... Sort like, of got a reason. Am I not supporting my team by not getting out there and acting like an idiot in public? Come on, guys! Ah! Yeah! yeah. I mean, save that for baseball. I don't know. Do your thing, man. I, We're I think, football right now. I know, but it's over. It's, this is it. This is, this is and my it's team. this weekend, man. And it's over. It's done. Right. It's but I got to put the hat at the shirt and go out there and, like, you know. In your face. Tell the Raider fans how shitty they are because their team's not there. In your there. face. <laughs> In your face. And I don't see them going anytime soon. Holy I, shit. I honestly, I honestly think, if, if, you, if you talk about conspiracy theories, I'm a tremendous conspiracy theorist, but they missed And this has to do time. with Trump. No, no, this ain't have to do with Trump. No, but unless it has unless to do with Trump. It, okay. Then um, you believe every fucking word. Here, here's, here's the thing. I think the NFL missed their opportunity for the best story Super Bowl. L.A. Rams and the L.A. Chargers battling out for L.A. So you get the Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, but that's not ideal for. But you know for what? For ratings and two but cities, not for the NFL. I'll two teams, two no, two teams that didn't have a city got right. kicked out. Goes and, and now Nobody they're sharing a, a fuck same about the hold up story. Share share the same fucking stadium, and so now you got yourself a story. I mean, they pushed and they got themselves a hardball bowl back in the day. So they got the brothers battling. Nobody cares. It, Here's it, the problem. It ramps up. It ramps up. Hey. Oh, and they're doing so good. The team with the best record, but you know. All these a holes on the East Coast. Yeah. All these hard, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, wannabe gangsters or from Boston. If I can, you know, all of them would be hating La La Land's guy. They wouldn't even watch the game. Oh no, they'll they watch they it. figure they would get AIDS from just watching the game. They'll watch it because oh, you got all the sun. You think you're the shit. I, I think you got surfing. You think, got bikinis year round. I think the best uh, story would have been a battle for Los Angeles. Yeah, the fuck the two, if I'm gonna watch that? Fucking, fucking two fucking La La Land, fucking homosexuals, it. fucking. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna watch that shit. You know, yeah, oh, fuck no, that, it, fuck it, that. It's still America. Who the fuck game, they think they are? Yeah, the NFL two didn't. fucking orphans. Battling it out, who fuck? Uh, they still, uh, they still uh, gather. They still, uh, they still. Eh, eh, eh. You talking to me? Hey, you talking uh, to me? Uh, hey, uh, what's on? What uh, you talking about? It's the same thing. Like if it was the Giants and the Jets, I'm not watching that fucking game. Are you kidding me? I don't give a fuck what kind of story goes along with it. Was there? I don't care was, how long it's been since they've been there. Was there ever? A, no, there was never a Giants. Uh, it Jets. could be. Oh, God. But no. who, are you gonna watch that? Are the, le- are the are the are the left the Jets, coasters gonna watch the Jets, it? Fuck no, the they're Jets, not. The Jets Dude, don't hold enough for look, me to look, make me want to see that. The Chargers move because these fucking people that love themselves so much that can only think about them that can't fucking buy tickets to the game unless they're winning. Then I'm a Charger fan. The most unloyal sports fans in all of America, right here in San Diego, right here in San Diego, right. So, yeah, guess what? They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be watching it. They can't even watch their own team. <laughs> you think they're going to watch two New York teams go at it? Oh, here's the only way they'll do it. If Trump says that he doesn't like it, then they'll watch all it. They'll support it. Or if some chick that they're into or some dude that they're into who's, oh, so cool, you know, blah, 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 blah. he looks like a fucking lumberjack. I love him so much. You know, if he starts watching it, then or shows interest. Oh, I love it. We're gonna watch New York Super Bowl over at his house and bam, 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 you know. Right, right. You know, yeah, I feel you. Off. I You're not a you. football fan. You're fair weather. Yeah, you, know, you just want to watch the commercials. Like if everybody starts making noise when it's a commercial, like you normally do. Oh, can you please keep it down? We're trying to watch. Fucker, who? Okay, it's a Super Bowl. I know they're good commercials. We're waiting for the concert. We're waiting for the concert. Right. But you're yeah, the nah. one fucking, oh, the halftime show. That's yeah, what we get. Nah. We die for the halftime. Look, look. You're going to die. You look, keep that noise up right you now. You can know, say yeah. inside, keep it inside, that you're watching <laughs> for the commercials and the halftime show, but don't let it fucking come out of your mouth. Please, please. Please don't say that. Please be don't. a football fan and, and be like, yeah, this is great. And then you can go in the bathroom and, Ugh, I hate this shit. <laughs> Until the commercials come on, until side. the little concert comes on after, and you can see these overpriced fucking retards out there singing and taking your money. But whatever, yeah, you true. know. We that's act true. like they're fucking superheroes. 
Or we watch these fucking Kardashians like they're actually doing mean something, something. Meaning something. Fuck. How about okay, whatever? So... Fucking. And everybody's like, oh, I hate them. Oh, obviously. There's like a gazillion people that follow them, but you. talking about them. You hate them. <laughs> I just happen to have five you're people a, right here that hate them. You're dropping the Sure. Bucket. Dropping the sure. Shit, I even watch the show every once in a while. <laughs> I like tasty cooking shows. Yeah, it's a on, cooking now. show, yeah. You know, <laughs> cooking something delicious there. Oh, man. <laughs> but I'm wow. never going to listen to it. I watch it with the mute, like like with no sound, you know, I, because it just ruins it. Like that, you know, that hot chick? Yes. You're like, oh, God, this is going to be good. This, this is going to be, be good. Oh, my God, this is going to be good. And then she goes, wee, wee, wee. You're like, oh, get the fuck out. Get out! Get hey, out! I've I've recently started doing some cooking, um, Facebook lives it. on Friday nights. Um, Chef Chubby. Chef Chubby. Um, it's it's been it's been fun, and actually, I got a good meal plan for this Friday. And nice. It's it's. Cool. What are you making? I'm making um, stuffed chicken primavera. What are you wearing? As little as possible. Ooh. It was. I was wearing. I, I, I was. <laughs> I was concerned. Just the apron. It was it was cold. It was cold, <laughs> and I had a scarf on. I was over, and the scarf kept falling down. and And I have to move around, so I got to work on my production, the content, and the, the, the as I'm talking and engaging. Right, uh, right. It's, it's 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 quite beneficial. And then I show them the finished product, so they do it with me the whole time. I don't do the whole like TV where I've got one in the in the oven oh, already no. made and ready to go. Are you taking through the whole grueling I process? I have to take them through the whole <laughs> grueling process. <laughs> Um, so I'm keeping working it real. on. I'm keeping it real, my neighbor. <laughs> the budget real low. <laughs> hey, it's, <laughs> it's 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 been into entertaining, and I've got people just expecting and waiting for the bigger the better. So I'm gonna hit them with the hit them with the the, the chicken, the stuffed chicken parmesani. You can watch that bottle. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, I haven't had dinner or nothing, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. But We're listen, gonna go roll. Listen to this. Talk about food. Uh, I have uh, been having the last two days the new job blues. Look, I've been 25 in one industry. I know what the fuck I'm doing inside and out. I can do it in my sleep. I'm going over something brand new, never done it before. And I fucking hate it. I hate not knowing. So I've had that new job blues. Okay. And this show, you guys listening, me being able to come out here and have some fun, doing the other thing I know, talking shit and making people smile and laugh. Uh, has turned my uh, frown upside down and turned it into a smile. He's a better so man. I appreciate that. Thank you. For you, uh, you. coming to my you. rescue, Thank for listening, mm-hmm. for always being there, being our road dogs and recording this episode number 70, I think it 70. might be. 70. 70. We turned uh, episode 70 tonight. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, please, please stop the applause. <sighs> but uh, we are uh, very proud and looking for bigger and brighter things. Tell your friends the show starts a little later. It's not late enough where you can't watch. Don't be a whiny bitch. Just watch the show. Eh. 7.30, we're going on. I'll be home. I've been racing home, trying to get home at 7.30. Eh. Uh, So we'll get the show going at 7.30, unless I quit. Then we'll start it back again earlier. (laughs) But uh, 7.30, uh, we'll get rolling next Wednesday. Tell your friends. Hey, share this, too. Get on there and do your part. Remember we talked about Facebook being a perfect role. Facebook is just a perfect role. role. Yeah. Send it to your friends. Share it. Repost it. Like it. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you can do to spread spread Pallone and Chubby all across the country. Until we see you next week. We are the Pallone and Chubby Show here every Wednesday at 730. Thanks for joining us. If you missed it, your friend missed it, you want to tune them into it, go into your browser, type in Pallone and Chubby. Done. And there's 70 episodes to pick from. Done. Just close your eyes and pick one. They're all great. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh! Thank you, Facebook uh, viewers, for watching. Uh, thank you, podcast pod, uh, cast viewers that go in and tune into this later on. We love all y'all. And even the wrong coast, east coast, fucking guidos, we still love you motherfuckers, too. So tune in next week. We'll see you next Wednesday. Uh, stay warm out there in the frigid cold. Uh, vortex ain't vortex, no joke. man. Be safe. Take care of your families. God bless you all. We'll see you next week. See ya. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.